Do you love your iPad Pro but wish you had a keyboard with more travel and a traditional keyboard feel? Do you also wish you had access to quick keyboard shortcuts? How about access to a full backlit keyboard complete with RGB lighting, all at $59, which is $100 less than Apple's own smart keyboard case? Well, then you've come to the right place because this keyboard case is offering all of that, and this is the Inatech keyboard case for the 11-inch iPad Pro. The Inatech keyboard case is a very different design from Apple's own smart keyboard cover. Instead of a thin, slim, minimalistic keyboard, you'll find what I consider a somewhat bulkier design of plastic and rubbery textures. Adding significantly more weight to the iPad Pro, it may not be as thin or lightweight as the smart cover, but this thing looks like it would survive a pretty big fall, not that I would intentionally be testing that. To attach the iPad Pro, you simply push it into the rubbery enclosure, the grips on the top wrap around the top of the iPad Pro, and then it slides into the bottom. It's a pretty painless process. On the back of the keyboard case, you have the stand, which is quite intricate and took me a little while to figure out. However, once you set it up a couple of times, you'll figure out the process, and then from there, you have three different angles you can set the iPad Pro at for typing. The three different angles gives you more flexibility when typing compared to Apple's own smart keyboard cover, which only gives you two different angles. Overall, this design is pretty great if you're using it on a desk or a table, but I found it a little bit harder to set up on my lap. There's some other nifty things you can do with the keyboard case, like detach it from the keyboard itself and still keep your iPad protected. But I found the process a little bit time consuming, especially compared to the simple process of detaching of Apple's own smart keyboard cover, and I'd much rather pull the iPad Pro out of the case when it's completely not in use. I find that it gives a much more lightweight experience, and I generally don't like the way that my iPads feel when they're in a case. On the top of the keyboard case, you'll find a nice cutout for the second generation Apple Pencil, meaning you can still easily attach it and charge it to the side of the iPad. You'll also find a cutout for the speaker grills as well as the USB-C port. You'll also find covers for the sleep wake button and the volume up and down button. If I had it my way, I'd much prefer this to be open as well so you could actually press the iPad Pro's buttons rather than pressing these rubbery buttons. Overall, the design looks like it can take a beating. I don't think this thing is going to be winning any fashion awards, but it is very useful and practical. Now let's move over to the keyboard itself. On the top right of the keyboard, you'll notice an on-off switch. This is because the Inatech keyboard does not feature Apple Smart Connector, opting instead to use Bluetooth. Now I couldn't find anywhere where Inatech mentioned the battery life on this keyboard cover. However, I will mention that I've been using it for over a month now, and I've only had to charge the battery once. One downside is that to charge the keyboard case, you need to use a micro USB cable to charge it. And this is one area where I really feel like I wanna offer Inatech some advice here, and on a next iteration of this keyboard case, I would really add the option for a USB-C port, because how cool would it be to have a USB-C port where you can plug it directly into the iPad Pro's USB-C port, and then you could charge the keyboard cover right from the iPad Pro. However, again, that being said, you don't have to charge this keyboard case all that often, so the occasional time when you need to bust out the micro USB-C cable it really isn't that big of an issue. Although not as light or easy to attach as Apple's own smart keyboard cover, the real benefits of the Inatech keyboard come right down to when you open it and you notice those nice keys. A keyboard with real clickety clackety keys and complete with RGB backlighting. Yes, an iPad Pro complete with RGB lighting. Eat your heart out, Razor. And the RGB customization on this type of device is really insane. You'll notice that the ASDF keys have lighting indicators on them. By holding down the function key, you can press the A key to customize the left side, the S key to customize the middle, and the D key for the right side. So you can mix and match different color combinations. You can also hit function F to get this really cool breathing effect you might be using to from gaming keyboards. All in all, you can choose from red, blue, green, purple, yellow, cyan, or white. 
You can also control the brightness of the keys on the light bulb key in the bottom right corner. As for the keys themselves, the Inatec keyboard offered a pretty great typing experience. The keys have a much better travel than Apple's own smart keyboard cover, and I'm able to type extremely quickly and accurately on the keys. The size of the keycaps are great for the 11 inch iPad Pro. If you hate Apple's fabric -y, low travel smart keyboard, I think you're really going to love the typing experience on Inatec's more traditional style keys. They're extremely comfortable and I could easily type for the entire day on this keyboard case. Aside from the great feeling of the keys, another great addition is the shortcut row on the top of the keyboard case for quick access to shortcuts. And overall, I really like the direction that Inatech took with this keyboard case because it is a complete design departure from Apple's own smart keyboard cover. It's not trying to copy Apple's keyboard, it's trying to be its own unique product and it's filling a need for people that don't really like the options that Apple offers. Inatech gives you a keyboard with a much more traditional keyboard feel with more travel, insane RGB lighting customization, shortcut keys, and more viewing angles. Overall, if you mainly use your iPad Pro inside of the keyboard cover rather than in tablet mode, I can really recommend Inatech's keyboard cover, especially when it only comes at $59, and that's about $100 less than Apple's own offering. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in the Inatech keyboard, I have a link right in the description so you can easily purchase it. Also, if you have any additional comments or questions about the Inatech keyboard that I didn't cover in this review, be sure to leave a comment below. If you like the video, make sure to give me a like. If you wanna see more from my channel, make sure you're subscribed. And thank you so much for watching. As always, I will see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone.